All right, this is the beginning of the end for Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Um, even her buddy uh, Hillary is not going to be able to save her on this one. Uh, if Debbie Wasserman Schultz is the head of the DNC uh, at the point that the convention starts, all hell's going to break loose. And uh, Bernie will not sit still for her uh, running the uh, convention. It's kind of bad when... Uh, Fox basically uh, blows the whistle on this broad and even MSNBC and CNN have to acknowledge that this broad hasn't been even handed. So at this point, uh, she's going to have to find a graceful way to uh, resign her position as head of the uh, DNC so that uh, the convention can hopefully operate smoothly. Pressure is mounting on Democratic leaders to find the best way toward uniting the party. The latest item up for discussion, the fate of DNC chair, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. There have reportedly been conversations on Capitol Hill whether she is the best fit given her public spat with Bernie Sanders. Last week, Sanders backed Wasserman Schultz's opponent in the race for her congressional seat down in Florida. In the last hour, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi talked about the discord. We have important challenges here that this election is about. I'm not going to get involved in conversations about personality. I told you that Debbie Wasserman Schultz has the respect of her colleagues in the House uh, for her hard work to unify and to um, win the elections. What hard work? She's done everything she can to torpedo Bernie Sanders. So that, you know, Pelosi likes her, but that line was bullshit. Alex Bolton, reporter for uh, TheHill.com, he broke this story. Uh, Alex, based on your reporting, based on the folks you're having these conversations with, give us a sense of how these conversations uh, have been going so far. Well, the conversations really took off last week after this blow up at the state convention in Nevada where there were these outbursts from Sanders supporters, there were chairs thrown, angry demonstrations, and that was very concerning. Lawmakers were alarmed that this could be a preview of what the national convention is going to be like in Philadelphia. Unfortunately, the report of violence and chairs being thrown was a lie that was pushed out by a bunch of people on MSNBC and CNN and Fox, but even uh, the people at Fox, uh, one particular person basically debunked that the, within the past couple of days. So um, that's uh, basically the establishment trying to cast the Bernie uh, supporters in a, a poor light to try to get leverage, and that ain't going to fly. And, and they felt that uh, Wasserman Schultz really poured a fuel on the fire when she went on TV and really criticized Sanders after the Sanders campaign issued a statement that, yes, criticized the party, but also condemned violence generally. Uh, they thought she should have been much more diplomatic. And uh, Jeff Weaver, the Sanders campaign manager, says that uh, she is personally out to hinder the Sanders campaign and that she's a divisive figure. And so what lawmakers are worried about is that it's going to be tough to unify the party when Debbie Wasserman Schultz is the face of the party and when young voters who aren't that enthusiastic about yeah. Hillary Clinton are a key to this election. Probably also worried that when she gets up to speak at the convention that Sanders supporters will, will boo and hiss uh, as, as well. But here's the thing, Alex, as you know, she's not just the, the DNC chair. She was appointed by President Obama back in you know 2011, if I'm not mistaken. What, what is the White House saying about all of this, if anything? Well, the White House has been silent on this. Uh, and. Uh, you know, the president has been historically supportive of uh, Wasserman Schultz, but, you know, she hasn't been the best ally on Capitol Hill. She opposed his effort to normalize diplomatic relations with Cuba, and more recently, she co-sponsored legislation that would have gutted the upcoming regulations on payday lenders coming out of the Consumer uh, Financial Regulatory Bureau. Uh, that's the crown jewel of his 2010 Wall Street Reform Act. Alex Burns, while we're having this conversation, excuse me, Alex Bull, while we're having this conversation, Hillary Clinton has taken the state... See, so Debbie Wasserman Schultz is basically uh, acting like a Republican. Her ass needs to go. She needs to go quickly. And hopefully uh, her opponent, uh, I believe his name is uh, Canova, uh, might be Tom Canova. Uh, he's uh, going up against her in her district down in Florida. Uh, and Bernie Sanders is definitely supporting him. Hopefully he can uh, bump her out and uh, ha have her move on.